In this tutorial, I'll show you how to increase the height of your header in the iNov theme using iNov 1.4.5. So on this test site, you can see I'm using the default iNov theme, and here's the default header at 90 pixels high. If we look in the site admin, under themes, you can see that we're currently using the iNov theme 1.4.5. So in this version of the theme, it's really easy to increase the header height. If you already have a properly sized image, then all you really need to do is go into the CSS and make one adjustment. If I were to go to WordPress, go into WP Content, into my Themes directory, and then find the iNove theme, uh, you'll want to open your Style CSS in a text editor. Any text editor will do. I use the uh, Edit Plus text editor. Uh, and scroll down and find the header height here. Under header, it's around line 170 or so. And you'll see the height is set at 90 pixels. Let's assume we want to make a 200 pixel high header. So just change that height to 200 pixels. And click Save. And that's the only change you really need to make. Uh, now if we were to go back out and look at WordPress, I'm just going to refresh. You'll see now I have room for a 200 pixel high header. So now I just need to make my header and replace the existing one. Uh, so to make your header, uh, what you'll need, if you look in the iNov theme on, in the image directory, you'll see that the existing header is called header JPEG. And it's actually 936 pixels wide by 90 pixels high. So you'll just need a new image that's 936 pixels wide by in this case 200 pixels high or however high you've set your header. So I'm going to do that here just to briefly show you one way to do that uh, in Photoshop. I'll use the header image that's already there just as a starting point. I'm going to right click and open that image in Photoshop. Now of course you could use any image that you want. I'm just going to use this as a starting point here uh, for my new image. I sort of like the black background uh, with the with a sort of bevel look and the highlight in the back. So I'll use it as a starting point from a new image. So you could put anything in here you want. You could completely cover it up or put anything else on it. Let's just do this. So I'll take this image here. Uh, I'm going to take the background here of this image in Photoshop and I'm going to make a layer of it. And that will just allow me to do some basic editing to it if I wanted to. Uh, but we'll leave it at that for a moment. And then go to the image and image size and make sure that I have constrained proportions unchecked and I'm going to set the height of it to 200 pixels leaving the width at 936 and click OK. Now I have a new 200 pixel high image. If I wanted to I could just go ahead and save this so I would just save this back into my theme uh, and I'll just overwrite the existing header there with this one. Click Save, replace it and if that's all I wanted was just a, a taller black header, then I'm done. If I go back and look at my site and refresh, now there's my higher header. And then, of course, you can do any kind of editing you want in whatever photo editor that you have. Uh, just quickly while I'm here, I'll just show you one thing. I might want to take this new 200 pixel high header now and take an image that I currently have. And I'll go to my pictures here and we'll pick, uh, let's say, this crayon image. Now my image is a lot higher, a lot taller than my header. Uh, I'll need to resize it, but before I do that, let me make a little couple of adjustments here. I'm just going to click around on a few things in Photoshop, just as sort of an added bonus. Uh, I'm going to crop the image first off, uh, take that bottom part off. Uh, and I did that, let me undo. I did that because there's some white between the bottom of the crayons, and I could make it bigger and go take that out, but I don't want to take the time. So I'm just going to crop it out for now. And then I may want to come in and take the white out of the, between the crayons up at the top here. Now the first thing I'll need to do, since this image is locked, is I'm going to right click and make a layer from the background and click OK. And that will allow me to do some editing to it. Uh, so now I could come here and take my Quick Select tool and adjust your properties here. And then come in and click and have it auto select the white area. And then I'm just hitting the delete key to delete the white from between the crayons. I'm just left clicking, selecting, delete key, deleting that white background. And then if I wanted to, I could come in and even make this larger. 
maybe two or three hundred percent and uh, I'm just going to right click deselect and then come in and even refine some if I wanted to get on down in here further and I could try to do that by using the quick select tool but sometimes that doesn't work very well uh, when you get into small areas I'm going to deselect one other th another tool you could use is you come down and use the eraser tool and I'm just hitting the right bracket to make my selection area bigger or the left bracket to make it smaller and then I could just come down if I wanted to and erase a little bit more from between each of these crayons again just to remove the sort of white background that was there and if I was doing this for real I might take a little more time here but I'm just sort of demonstrating a couple of techniques just as an added bonus here uh, that's enough for now so I'll come back down and make this back to 100% in size. Now this is far too tall for my background. So let's assume that I want this crayon to go across the width of the background uh, and maybe only be a, a little bit shorter than the full, than half the height of my background. So to do that, I'll come here to my image, image size. This time I want to make sure I constrain proportions to keep my image in proportion and I'll make the height 90 pixels. My height of my background is 200. I'll make the height of this 90. It'll be a little shorter than half the height and click OK. And then I'll bring this down, click on my move tool and then I'm going to left click and drag and drop this on my background and position it where I want. Now if I look real close I can still see some sort of white around the crayon so if I was doing this again for real I might go in and do a lot more work on those crayons but again just giving you an idea here then I'll come back and move this onto my image as many times as I want and line it up so I'm just going to duplicate this and notice as I do this each time I drag the image on it gives me a new layer over here so I'm going to drag it on uh, three or four times and line it up and then let me do this here line this up and maybe I'll drag it one more time line it up and if I wanted to be real precise I could come down here and make instead of a hundred make this 200 uh, percent so that I could look and be real precise in my alignment which that looks pretty good I'm back to a hundred percent now and then come over on my layers and I'm holding down the shift key and I'm just selecting those three layers where I drug the crayons and I'm going to right click and get this up so you can see it better uh, then I'm going to right click and left click on merge layers so I've just merged all three of those into one. Now I could come here and right click on layer 4 and say duplicate layer. And what that does is just make my work a lot more efficient. Now I have a whole line of crayons that I could come over here and line up. And then I'll just do that a time or two again. Duplicate again. Line them up. And then one last time. And there we go. And then I may come in here at the end and just select them again. Right click this up again where you can see it. Select them, right click, and merge those layers again so that I'm just working with one layer. So if I like that look I could leave it but one thing I could do now to even uh, make the sort of white background that's still showing between the tips of the crayons a little less noticeable is that I could come in and select the layer with the crayons and change the opacity to say 40 percent then that's going to help out. It's just going to blend those images into the background. So I'll leave that for a second and we'll just see how we like it. I'll go out to File, uh, Save for Web Devices. Looks pretty good. I'll save this. And then I'm going to save it back in my Images directory and just overwrite my original header. I'll leave it named the same name. Click Save and Replace. And then go back out and look at my blog. And now I have a custom header with the crayons in the background. So again, you can do all kinds of stuff with creating your, your header. Uh, but really the only change you need to make to get a taller header is that one change in the CSS and then build anything into your header you want. Uh, you can start completely scratch with a brand new header or you can do a lot with just keeping the sort of look of that header that comes with iNove, uh, increasing the size of it and then building your other graphics into it if you want.